I definitely don't like instant coffee. Okay. So I'm out again in the nice weather. And I am out for a little scouting trip to see if I can find a nice road to ride on and uh, maybe some place to put up a tent or a hammock. I will take uh, a route along a forest road here to see and then I will go fill up with petrol and then keep on uh, for a little while but first this forest road and see how it looks it's uh, May 13 today and uh, today I have been free from work and it has been a really good weather all day but it first now at the evening that I have the possibility to ride it's uh, five o'clock in the evening but I think I still have a lot of daylight left because uh, it's uh, daylight uh, until late evening here now at this time so there will be no problem here is a pretty nice uh, place with a um, river next to the road but uh, we are really close to uh, the town the city we are not far from uh, people and uh, when we get further down to this road the road separates uh, from the river but um, I will turn left over here and I will go through the forest and see uh, how the road looks um, it will not be any lake or something but um, I think it can be a nice place anyhow here I am going to turn left and I was almost missing this place I haven't been here for a long while uh, it's a long time since I was here but uh, I have been here with uh, my car a lot so I know it's a it's a good uh, road but um, I'm not sure that uh, the road is open because last time I was here there was a tree all over the road uh, almost in the end of the road from this uh, side I think this uh, type of road is nice to ride on because uh, it's in the middle of the forest and uh, it's pretty good surface so you got you got uh, really nice grip it's not uh, any it's not much of loose gravel so it's pretty nice even for a 
beginner like me to ride on this type of road when it looked like this one. You could stay uh, at a place like this one because you can get the bike at the side of the road so people can passing with uh, tractors or cars and uh, yes if you have a hammock you only need two trees and there is a lot of trees here here you can see the tree that was lying over the road and we are very soon up at the paved road just at the other side of the railway we have the big bigger road that's paved Whoppa. <laughs> oh. There it was <laughs> very loose <laughs> No grip at all in those uh, road tires that I have <laughs> So it was sliding a little in the tunnel, but it wasn't any big problem to save it. Here you also have a pretty nice uh, gravel road, but uh, this one is a little more slippery because it's a little more of loose gravel on the surface on this road. So it's not that uh, easy to ride on for a beginner like the other one, but hopefully I will manage to handle it. And here the surface is a little better for me again <coughs> but um, yeah now and then it will be a little more loose gravel so it's best to be prepared I think this will be a nice spot maybe for a put up a hammock or a tent a hammock maybe would be nice here don't you think somewhere between the trees <coughs> it's a little far from the lake you can see the lake but it's not really that close but uh, I don't think it matter. It could be a nice spot anyway. Not bad, not bad. You can get away from the road, the little bigger road, and you can get the bike to the side, so... And then you can put up a hammock, for example. And yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. That could be a spot. Here was the place I thought I was.
I will uh, make a small cup of coffee. I am just out riding in the forest and I have stopped uh, to make a cup of coffee. I have no microphone, ex external microphone today, but I hope that uh, the built-in microphone in the camera is able to uh, take up some um, something of my voice. But I have stopped here to make a coffee. And uh, I hope that you are able to see something. The water is boiling. Vatten. Hur kommer jag ut härifrån, vet du? Ja. Vi står parkerade vid den här jävla porten där borta. Oj. Ja, då har ni gått ganska långt. Ja, det är ganska långa väg. Ja, precis. Ja, men den vägen, nu vet jag inte, jag tror att det är... Yes. Uh, a couple of people that was... Not lost, but uh, they have uh, uh, gone the wrong way, you can say. So they didn't exactly know where they were, but uh, they are not lost because they, it's uh, roads that you can go. So. Well, that was uh, my uh, coffee break. Uh, now I will pack this together and then I will start riding home again. I have to change the battery in the GoPro on the helmet because I can see that that's not much uh, left in the battery, but I have a spare battery uh, with me, so there should be no problem. But um, yeah, uh, probably I will talk to you later, but um, this was my coffee and it was very nice. And um, yeah, I will continue the ride home again from here so There was a couple of young men out and walking earlier here and uh, yeah, they was, were full of uh, a road that uh, they were for walking that uh, they were supposed to go but they 
they uh, took the wrong uh, way <laughs> at some point so <laughs> here we have them Det är det nära i alla fall. <laughs> Har det gått? Hej! Så so instead of walking 5 kilometers, I guess they now have walked about 10 kilometers or maybe more. And uh, they still have uh, uh, short short way to go. For for me it's short way because I'm on the motorcycle but for them it will take uh, a while. Here they have their car, their, their car. So they have to go here and it's a couple of kilometers from where they are so it will take maybe an hour. That was all for uh, this uh, ride and all for this video and I hope you like it and I hope you will stay for more videos on my channel and I want to say thank you to all subscribers and all the people that are uh, comment on my videos it's very nice it's very interesting to read from people and yes it's very positive so i hope in you enjoy this and i hope you stay for more and thank you for watching and see you again in next video Bye bye.